guys, how's it going? I'm back in the doghouse. I got the uh, brake lines, emergency brake lines, all uh, taken out, and yes, they're all seized, and I can't buy any. So I got to soak these here and try to get them uh, loosened up just so I can get through the inspection. But man, I wish I had a hoist. Oh my God. It is so hard working underneath there. And you know what they say, you, you learn by your mistakes, eh? And oh my God, I've been learning an awful lot because every day is a mistake. But today I uh, got the brake lines out, like I said, and then I want to take the drive shaft out off so I can pull that rear end. And so I was crawling underneath the, the, uh, the truck. I have it on jack stands as well. It's well supported, but as you can see, there's some foreign material oh, down there, kind of blackish and shittyish. And there's my drive shaft. What I didn't realize is that when I pull the drive shaft, all that transmission fluid is going to be pouring out. And guess where I was? Directly underneath it. And <laughs> I was on my trolley and it got jammed on an extension cord over here and as you can see it's still underneath there and now it was just pouring all over me all over my tops and bottoms in my shoes it was just gushing out so I ended up rolling out of the the other side of the truck and then I got this pan and put it underneath there to catch at least a gallon of it well couple quarts whatever I don't know how much it is but there's a pile a pile on the floor so right now my clothes are in the uh, washer getting cleaned up Bev doesn't know it yet but they're in there so anyway if I would have had a hoist I wouldn't have uh, got all that shit all over me I would have been standing beside it and it would have just went on the floor instead of on me but anyway you know they say hey, shit happens and all over my floor and all over me all over all over everything so anyway I got to stop and clean that up I might as well clean up the rest of this here where the bomb blew up and get myself organized and do what I said I was going to do today take out the seat belts I should have just stuck with my game plan but I never oh I never stick with my game plan I'm like a fart in a windstorm I'm all over the place, go here, go there, go the other place, see something shiny, got to pick it up. I just can't uh, pay attention long enough to complete one job. That's why these jobs take me so long is because... Well, I'll get cleaned up this mess now. And it's probably going to take me about an hour or so. But look at... Oh, the mess. I got lots of Zorball, and I'm going to have to use it all too. Between Zorball and. Okay, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. <clears throat> I cleaned up, and now I'm going to take the, uh, take the back seat out so I can get the seat belts out and uh, get her done. Enough's enough. Well, these seat belts are easy to come out. All I have to do is fold the seat down. I thought I, I thought I'd have to pull the seats, but just fold the seat down, and then uh, oh, lift up the, the back here, just a little flap here. Lift that up, and yeah, so the back seats are down. The back of the seat is down. Lift up this lid, and here's the seat belts right here. That's going to be easy to pull out. It's probably a, the bolt probably comes through the uh, through the floor. Just have the nut here, but uh, that's going to be easy. Oh, 
Shall top belt holding this in, in here. I don't know what that is, but put the bolt here. Guess you really can't see. If you, I can't see, you can't see. Got the bracket out of the bottom, that's no problem. Now to get the lap belt. It's uh torques here. You take the plate plate off here, there'll be torques in here. Oh. Another torques down there. We'll have it all out. Then just do the same to the other side. And uh, that'll be good. There, so with the seat belt out on both sides and in the middle, I guess I can uh, wrap up this job and say I finally got accomplished what I wanted to accomplish both yesterday and today. So I guess I'll uh, shut her down for now. Oh, shut her down for now. I've got the Zorball down there soaking it up. I'll clean that up tomorrow. And then uh, I don't know what else I want to take off of this. Uh, I took out the windshield washer pump and tank. I might just take out the master cylinder, uh, or the, not the master cylinder, but the uh, power brake assist and this sort of stuff. You never know what I'll want to do to the Fargo later on down the road. But anyway, I'll go through it and take out what I want to take out tomorrow, wrap it up. And I'm going to just uh, bolt the rear end back in just with one shackle on either side and then uh, shove her outside and then pull that, pull that one U-bolt off each side and uh, jack her up leave her on block so the tow truck can come and get it and then uh, I'll just take the take the rear end out since it'll be a lot easier and I'll be outside tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day so anyway we'll get her done so anyway have a good one stay safe stay away from people self-isolate, keep your hands washed.